located an account belonging to Luis Oyarzin, 4 unit number 0330. Your current balance due is 0.00 and your next scheduled payment date is May 1st, 2024. To make a payment please press 1 otherwise to speak with a manager. Please press 0. Leave a voicemail message at the beep. Hi, this is Solange Martinez, the caretaker for Luisa Oyarsun. Today is the 23rd of April, 2024. I called uh, because I sent a message. Uh, I left a message saying that Luisa Oyarsun moved out of Unit 303 on the 21st. Uh, and... Um, uh, the unit is still uh, under her name, so I was wondering when you're going to close out and send her a receipt. Uh, thank you, and her number is 914-619-8362, 914-619-8362. Thank you and blessings. 23rd of April, 2024. This is Christian College Professor Solange Martinez calling the new storage place, local storage of Waterbury. For the this call may be calls. recorded. Please wait while we gather your account details. We located multiple accounts matching your phone number. Please press 1 to pay all units. Press 2. If you are calling about Luis Oyarz and in Unit 0330, press 3. If you are calling about Luis Oyarz and in Unit H064, we have located an account belonging to Luis Oyarz and for Unit Number 0330. Your current balance due is 0.00 and your next scheduled payment date is May 1st, 2024. To make a payment, please press 1 otherwise to speak with a manager. Please press zero. Leave a voicemail message at the beep. Hi, this is Solange Martinez again calling uh, regarding Luisa Oyarsun's uh, unit 303, uh, please give us a call, 914-619-8362. Thank you. 23 of uh, April 2024, calling uh, local storage of Waterbury again. Let's see. Let's do... Let's do this one. Let's um, call a fourth time. They are on my phone again, the Deep State Mafia. So. Let's do this one. If you are calling about Luis Oyarzin in Unit 0330, press 2. If you are calling about Luis Oyarzin in Unit H0538, press 3. If you are calling about Luis Oyarzin in Unit H064, let's press call again because over. these people are, these Deep State Mafia members are in my phone again. So I'm going to show you how they get into my phone and how they I block them. So let's do. Mm -hmm. Because they don't want me to speak to uh, local live store, uh, lo I mean local storage of Waterbury. Uh, because they don't want me, they want to rip Alvisa Oyarsun off since she's elderly disabled and, and a Christian. Uh, and that's what they do with Christians in the United States. They, rip, they contact the mafia members to rip them off. Please wait while we gather your account details. We located multiple accounts matching your phone number. Please press 1 to pay all units. Press 2. If you are calling about Luis Oyarz and in unit 0330, press 3. If you are... 
We have located an account belonging to Louise Oyarzin, for unit number 0330. Your current balance due is 0.00 and your next scheduled payment date is May 1st, 2024. To make a payment, please press 1 otherwise to speak with a manager. Please press 0. Thanks for calling local storage. This is Nancy. How can I help you? Hi, Nancy. Uh, how are you? I think I spoke with you the day before yesterday on the 21st. Uh, and I told you uh -huh. I was, uh, yeah. yes, I told you I was going to um, move Luisa Oyarzun out and I already did. So you said you call, uh, to call you when uh, I had done that. So I, I did and I wanted to call you and let you know. Okay. All right. Hang on one second. You're at Waterbury? Yes. <laughs> She's asking me to ask you if uh, your company is going to give her some money back because she was supposed to move out by the 1st of May <laughs> and she moved out um, on the 21st. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't uh, refund on move out just because you have a, up until the end of the month to do it. But I'm sorry. Dice ella que no, que no devuelve nada. Okay, Luisa, I'm going to go ahead and schedule your move out and I will. You're, are you completely out of it? Did you remove your lock? Uh, yes, and the lady, uh, we saw the cleaning lady yesterday, and um, I think I told her that uh, she moved out, and I think she went to, to clean uh, the room. She she had a broom, uh, and she went to clean it. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and schedule it, and I will follow up with an email. Okay, honey. Um, you're going to send her the receipt uh, via email, Um is there any way that you can um, text it to her also? Um, I am. Um, she not set up on text. Really, the only way I can do it on do it on this move out is through the email. Okay then. Okay. But I have, but, I, but she's all set. Okay, honey. Thank you so much. All right, you're so welcome. Y'all have a great afternoon. Thank you. Uh, have a blessed day. Bye bye. You too, honey. Bye-bye. Today is the 23rd of April, 2024. This is Christian College Professor Solange Martinez documenting the assassination of the elderly disabled Christians here in the United States by the Deep State Mafia, um, uh, composed of atheist government employees. As you can see, they have been sent her, they have sent her a move-out notice for the wrong... Um, storage space which is 64 they know very well that she moved out of uh, the storage 303 uh, not 64 so they have disabled the payment for 64 so they can go and steal all her properties uh, in there uh, and uh, this is because uh, she stored there the leftover leftover from the property stolen at her uh, apartment 44 Center Street Waterbury Com Connecticut uh, apartment 2P as in Peter from the home invasion that the Deep State Mafia members uh, did on the 18th of March 2024. So let me uh, see if I can contact these people, these Mafia members contacted at this local storage and uh, inform them that I know that they did the wrong um, no. This call room. may be recorded. Please wait while we gather your account details. We located multiple accounts matching your phone number. Please press one to pay all units. Press two. If you are calling about Louise Oyarzin and in unit 0330, press three. If you are calling about Louise Oyarzin and in unit H. We have located an account belonging to Louise Oyarzin for unit number 0330. 
Your current balance due is 0.00 and your next scheduled payment date is May 1st, 2024. To make a payment, please press 1 otherwise to speak with a manager. Please press 0. Leave a voicemail message at the beep. Hi, this is Christian College Professor Solange Martinez. I need to speak to a manager or the headquarters for a local uh, storage of Waterbury, Connecticut. Um, my number is 914-619-8362. 914-619-8362. I'm calling regarding Luisa Oyarsun's accounts. Uh, she rented a room um, this month, at the beginning of this month, April 2nd, or, or around April 2nd. And she vacated that room on the 21st of um, uh, 21st of um, April. Uh, and they disconnected the auto payment for the wrong room, room 64. She's, she has not vacated that room. And the reason why you know she has not vacated the room is because you have security cameras that you have access uh, to. Uh, and you know that the room is filled. The one that she has vacated is the other room. The room that she rented um, is, I believe, 303, and uh, you did not disable that uh, auto payment. Uh, and uh, she vacated it on the 21st of um, April, which I informed you about, uh, and you nevertheless did not disable the auto payment. Uh, and today, the 23rd, you disabled the auto payment for room 64. Uh, so please fix that uh, and give me a call. 914-619-8362. Uh, 914-619-8362 as soon as possible. I have called you regarding this uh, five times at least. And I believe that... Um, I need Thank to speak to somebody uh, regarding this. Thank you. Okay, the reason why they disabled the auto payment for the room, room, room 64, is that in room uh, that, in the room that um, she vacated, uh, uh, room 303, I believe, uh, there is nothing, but in room 64, they have we have the leftovers of uh, the uh, property of Luisa Oyarsun that was not uh, that was trashed, stabbed, and not stolen during the home invasion of the 18th of March 2024. During that home invasion, uh, the Deep State Mafia members employees. Um, the local police, Waterbury police, uh, and you know that we have the Waterbury police chief recorded while cursing and telling me that, uh, cursing me out and telling me that he was going to kill me, that I was as good at, as dead. Um, so these people, this chief of police and his uh, criminal syndicate uh, mafia members, friends, home invaded Risa Yasun's apartment the third time in um, burglarized the apartment that a third time and they claim that they did not um, steal her property so we stored everything in room 64 uh, in this this is why they contacted local storage of Waterbury to go and take everything out because the auto payment was stopped illegally uh, because they know very well that it was not room 64 <laughs> that she vacated uh, and then claim that it was at the storage that was stolen because she did not pay the make the payment. So um, locally, the payments are done on uh, the first of each month, and uh, they cannot touch her stuff until the first of May. But anyways, I'm documenting this because I was legally advised to document it. And uh, I also need to tell you that the room that I repeatedly said that was vacated was 
330, room 330, not room 64. So they went and left the room 330. Um, uh, after she vacated it, they left the automatic payment there. And then on uh, they went to room 64, which uh, is the room that has, that contains the leftovers of whatever they did not steal, the Deep State Mafia members did not steal on March 18th, 2024. So if they take everything out, claiming that she didn't pay uh, the room, then they can say, oh, they we took everything that uh, Luisa Oyarsun had in her apartment and uh, we kept it because she didn't pay. So this is the modus operandi that this deep state mafia does. And they contact all the merchants that you deal with when you're their victim, that when they're after you. Uh, and do things like that, falsification of receipts, uh, falsification of uh, payment records, uh, you name it. So this is the situation. Let, let me call, let me see if I can call uh, one more uh, agency, one more company. Uh, um, uh, dot com okay let's do this one thank you for calling the orange door storage insurance program hotline for public storage tenants para español o prima ocho por la fonse apoya su sang or stay on the line for english If you're calling from Canada, press 6. To report a new claim, press 1. For the status or questions regarding an existing claim, press 2. For all other questions and information, press 3. To repeat... Thank you for calling PSCC and the Orange Store Storage Insurance Program. This is Joff. One, how may I help you? Hi, this is Christian College Professor Solange Martinez. How are you? From where I'm sorry? This is Christian College Professor Solange Martinez. How are you? I'm doing good about yourself. How can we help you today? Good. Um, I called because um, I take care of an uh, elderly disabled citizen, Luisa Oyarsun, uh, and she rented a space at the local storage uh, of Waterbury, uh, Connecticut, uh, through your company uh, uh, via internet. And uh, when she rented the space, the space was 3.30. Uh, she rented another space uh, recently, which is um, about the same size, but um, they she had another space, uh, two spaces, uh, and they disconnected the one that uh, was not vacated. The one that was vacated by her uh, is still connected, so they're going to charge her for that one, and uh, is is they're not going to charge her for the one that she has not vacated. So I spoke to uh, a local storage of, of Waterbury um, lady twice by the name of Nancy. And uh, I explained to her that she vacated the room with the three, not 64. And she uh, went and disconnected the room 64. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Um, is this any, are you, do you have any insurance coverage questions since you're calling the insurance line? Or is this more like a public storage billing Question. No, um, I tried to call a local storage of Waterbury, but uh, they did not pick up the phone conveniently. Right, but you don't have any insurance questions because this, only, this is not public storage. This is the Orange Door Insurance Program. Oh, no. Is there any question regarding the insurance program? No. Okay, um, then you will need to contact public storage customer support um, for any tenant questions that you may have regarding the unit. I can give you that phone number. Okay, what is their phone number? 
Uh, the phone number is going to be 1 800 567 0759. 0759. 567 five, 0759. Five, five, nine. Five, nine. And Correct. that's what? Mm -hmm. That's public storage customer support for any questions that you have regarding public storage quest, um, account questions. Okay. Thank you so much. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me see publicstorage.com. Que ella desconectó el pago para la unidad que tú rentaste, la número 54, donde sí. están los lo que eh, ellos dejaron de la invasión sí. de morada que sí. hicieron. Entonces, esa es la prueba de que ellos se robaron todos los codes todas las cosas caras, sí. la comida y todo, sí. y entonces ellos desconectaron eso en este public storage porque sí. ya la mafia lo llamó sí. y dejaron conectado el cuarto que tú vaciaste sí. el día 21 de abril sí. uh -huh. entonces yo estoy llamando y lo estoy reportando y le estoy diciendo que yo hablé con Nancy dos veces de, po de, de el local storage Waterbury sí. y ella desconectó el cuarto que no era Sí. Entonces, yo le estoy llamando para informarle que ella desconectó el cuarto que, que no era. Que ella tiene que conectar el cuarto que, que en, eh, tú, donde tú tienes tu pertenencia y desconectar el cuarto donde tú sacaste la pertenencia. Claro. Entonces, como ella no coge en el teléfono, entonces yo le estoy, estoy documentando que yo le estoy llamando y que ya yo he hablado con ella dos veces y le he dicho que desconecte el cuarto que tú vaciaste, que es el sí. 330 sí. y no el 64. Sí. Entonces, ella desconectó 64 y 330 no se parece a 64. No, no. Yo le dije el número con el 3 sí. y 64 no tiene 3. Quiere decir que ella desconectó el que eh, eh, entonces, ellos saben pasa, que bueno? tiene las cosas que, que ellos sí, sí, eh, dejaron eso, sí. y no las que se robaron. Sí. Porque ellos ahora van a ir y van a decir, nos vamos, vamos a sacar todas las cosas de ahí y la vamos a vender, la vamos a botar y entonces se va a borrar la prueba de que ellos hicieron la invasión de morada sí. y se robaron todos los codos y todas las cosas caras que nosotros sí. teníamos en el apartamento. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por eso yo estoy llamando y estoy documentando ¿Y para dársela a los reporteros. No, pero olvídate de los reporteros. ¿Qué dice la muchacha? ¿Que, que lo va a conectar? Eh, no, yo ella yo llamé y ellos dicen que no es ahí que yo tengo que llamar, que yo tengo que llamar a otro número de teléfono. Yo voy a llamar al número de teléfono que ella, que ella me dio. Sí, 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 para que resuelva eso. Exactamente. Que conecte el que no es y que... Porque, pero de esta mañana ella, ella sacó el que no es el que... Es. Yo tengo en el teléfono documentado las veces que yo le he llamado. Yo le he llamado a ella más de cinco veces. Entonces quiere decir que no es un error, que es que ella le dijeron de conecta ese para que yo no tenga prueba de que nosotros nos no, 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 no
Please enter your phone number, followed by the pound. We could not find your account using. Okay, so let's. Nancy, how can I help you? Hi, Nancy, sweetie. This is Professor Martinez again. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Good. Uh, you disconnected the wrong room. The wrong room. The room that you were supposed to disconnect was not sixty four. Was three thirty. That's the one that she vacated on the twenty first of April, twenty twenty four. Okay. What property was that again? That was uh, on uh, the local storage Waterbury on Meriden Road. Okay, let me take a look at it and see what happened here. So she has two units. Yes, yes, she has and two. And what, what's the unit number again? The one that she vacated was 330. And the one that she moved in is 64. That's going to be there for a long time. Okay, she must not have these two linked together. Um, and that's why I didn't see that. Let me see. The one that she was supposed to have linked together was a uh, 64. And, um, the, okay. uh, it's, I see why. And she, the 58. She's not, they're not together on one account. There's two separate accounts. Um, yes, so please. she's keeping, uh, H-O-64. Is that what you're telling me? She's keeping, uh... 58, 58, and 64. Those are the two that are supposed okay. to be linked together. So, yeah. none yeah. of them are linked together then. Okay. Okay, so she's keeping 64. Let me fix this one first, okay? Okay. Okay, and I need to, I guess, put it back. Did she have it on auto bill? Yes, and uh, it was disconnected. Okay. Okay. Okay, I put it back on auto bill and I turned it back on. Yes, and so she has uh, the uh, 58, 58, and the 64 uh, linked together. Okay. The, the 330 okay. is the one that she vacated on the 21st of April. Okay, so she has, how many units does she have? Uh, she rented the 330 for about two or three weeks. Uh, well, 14 days or 15 days. That's why she was asking for, uh, you know, half of her money back. Uh, and uh, the one that she vacated was the 331 after 15 days or so. Okay, so there's, okay, I see all three of them, but they're all on separate accounts. None of them That's why I didn't know that. Okay. So, 3.30, she has vacated. On the 21st of April. Okay. 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 So, that has now got them. Let me fix it over here on my log so they don't get confused about it when they go to clean it. Okay. And it's 3.30. That's the one she vacated on the 21st of April, 2024. Okay. All right. All right. So I think it's all squared away now. And I apologize for that. I didn't realize she had three separate units. I just pulled her name up and that um, other one came up. Yes, uh, so that uh, she vacated. Came out. I'm sorry? Okay. All right, we got it all straight down. Okay, so to confirm, you have uh, unit uh, 5858 and 6464 linked together. No, they're not. My, my manager will have to do that. I'll have to send her a message because when you pull up her name, they're not all on the same account. They're separate. Okay. Um, it's, yeah, I'll have to have my manager do that, um, which she will. There's no big deal. Okay. Uh, it's really strange because she said, um, let me see. 
Um, oh, uh, uh, can you have uh, her manager call, I mean, your manager call her? Because she's still asking me if, she, since she was in the 330 unit for about 15 days, uh, if she could get half of her money back. Maybe the manager can overwrite something and give her half of the money back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, I can I can certainly ask her, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right straight up, she won't. Oh, okay. that's just not they're the policy of the company, and she I have never seen her waive that. Okay. When you rent a unit, you rent it you rent it for zero, ten, twenty, thirty days. You pay the monthly payment. Okay. The only time you get a prorate is when you move in, and it's already into the month. Oh, okay. But moving, you, you, whether you stay a zero days or 30 days, it's the same price. Okay. And in the unit 5-8, uh, she uh, doesn't have to have insurance because the unit 6-4 uh, already has her insurance, um, her renter's insurance, which I sent uh, to you. And the representative told me on a recorded line that uh, she, uh, she, she, does, she does not have insurance. She has it on that account. She has it on. She does not have our insurance. We have a copy of her policy. Okay. For 58 and 64, right? I, can, I just confirmed um, 58. So that's one you asked. But let me do the other one. And we have a proof of insurance on that one as well. Okay, so you have the proof of a renter's insurance in 58 and 64. Uh, great. Correct. And the manager is going to give me a call. Uh, you sent her the email already, so I can ask her if she can get some money back. <laughs> She's asking okay, me all the I'll time. Okay, I'll send it to her. I'll send it to her, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be up front with you. Just... Um, I'll send you the message. Okay, honey. Okay. Thank you so God much. bless you. All right. Bye-bye. Uh-huh. Thank you. Y'all have you. a great evening. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Thank you. It's really strange that when I called from Luisa Oyasun's uh, a 914 number, she didn't pick, pick it up. And when I called from somebody else's phone number, uh, from another number, she picked it up. It's really strange. Anyways, uh, that's fixed.